Hi guys, welcome back. You can see we're in a new setup here. I haven't filmed an actual video in my apartment yet, so this is the first time. And I kind of like this little, the vibe going on here. Got a little light down there, got a little light right there. Nice little mirror vibes. If you clicked on this video, you are probably in search of Christmas presents for people or for yourself. This is essentially the ultimate Christmas guide. I have gone through a compilation of YouTube videos, lists online, what I've gotten people, what I've received, what my friends have asked for, what if people on Instagram were asking for, and I compiled it all into one beautiful Pinterest board that has multiple sections, so we'll go through that. I want to preface this whole list by saying that yes, a lot of these are expensive. I put a lot of options that are on the higher price range but there are some there's a specific section for example that has a price range under 50 but this list is really just a general idea for you to get inspiration from and anything on here you can find for cheaper or for more in terms of prices so don't feel like you are set on one price range or another when you're looking at any of these things there's a million options out there i'm going to start with the section that i did not put on pinterest which i like to call the experience gifts if you look here, this is the, I guess it's called Virgin Experience Gifts now. They used to be called Cloud9 Living, and I have used them before. There's a bunch of different categories that they have in terms of experience gifts. I'm gonna click on the For Him, for example. As you can see, we have the Drive a NASCAR, and I did the Drive a NASCAR as a gift. I didn't do it. I gifted it to somebody, and they also did, I wanna say like a supercar on a track race. But let I me mean, look at how cool this stuff is. You can fly a World War II biplane, indoor skydiving. I know they have regular skydiving as well drive the dragster you can do a helicopter tour you can race a ferrari tons of different options i looked through some of the for her gifts as well and those were kind of fun so let's take a look at that you can do a balloon ride you can do a wine tasting sailing trip which sounds super fun to me zipline tour and beer tasting randomly a falconry lesson i don't really know what that's about these are located all throughout the u.s so as you can see there are city locations on here so there's different cities and states that these different things are available in you can find one that suits you and where you're located and there's just a ton of fun stuff body wellness float and sauna session i think that's a really cool gift especially for people who don't really value material items as much as experiences and memories next up i want to talk about pop-up picnics which i do think became more popular during covid times i know there are a couple of small businesses that started up who were organizing picnic dates for people so here's like an example of one i found just after quick research and it comes with food and drink they create a beautiful ambiance for you certain silverware and flowers and aesthetically pleasing charcuterie boards and then the services start to finish so there's a bunch of different options this isn't the only company that does it they're beautiful and it's perfect for your girlfriend or for your mom and you want to have a memorable moment with them and something more intimate that you can give to somebody next up something that i actually gifted to my dad a couple of christmases ago was the masterclass membership and masterclass does this every holiday season where you can do a two for one membership so you can get it for somebody else and also have it for yourself I still have the masterclass membership. One of my favorite masterclass courses actually is Sarah Blakely and she is the founder and creator of Spanx. Listening to her talk about entrepreneurship and how she became the woman that she is today was super inspiring and I've also watched a few more like the Chris Voss one, random one that I watched was the Art of Negotiation. It's just really cool and educational and I think they're type of videos that you won't find on YouTube. They're just uninterrupted explanations of how these people came to be in their industries and how they became prominent figures and successful figures. This specific category is business but they have other things like arts and entertainment, home and lifestyle, music, writing, food, design and style, sports and gaming, wellness, tech. I want to say there's over a hundred courses. Bill Nye. Next up for experience gifts is getting a food membership. Blue Apron is a membership that you can get and you can have it sent like weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. This is really fun for a significant other or for your mom or your dad where you wanna create like an intimate moment with them. This is a really good gift for somebody who values one cooking, but a lot of people, that's, that's a certain love language. Offering them something where you can spend quality time like cooking a meal is really important. Next up on the experience list, this may be controversial, but getting somebody a gym membership or a class pass membership you can give people gift cards for class pass memberships for as long as you want or as little as you want there's a bunch of different classes you can take with that right now it's gonna be located in Paris there is boxing there's cycling there's yoga this is perfect for somebody who 
works out exercises. Next up is one of my favorite experience gifts. And this is not really an experience so much as having a gift that you receive throughout the year, but getting somebody a flower subscription. This company is called Farm Girl Flowers and I have received flowers from them before and they're beautiful. They come in this like big box wrapped in burla. There is a whole wide price range of flowers you can get. There's a ton of different options and who doesn't want to receive flowers bi-weekly or monthly? The minimalist ones, look how beautiful these are. I would love to receive this bouquet. It is so pretty. This is perfect for your mom or your sister or your girlfriend. They will definitely appreciate the thought. Last on the subscription slash experience list is something like a coffee subscription. So I actually got my mom's fiance a coffee subscription, which is perfect for him because he drinks coffee every single day. Caffeine addict over here myself, getting a coffee subscription is awesome. This one is blue bottle, but some of them are not beans. Some of them are already like the crushed powdered coffee. There's a ton of different available subscriptions for coffee. This is just the one that I'm most familiar with. That is the end of the subscription slash experience gift ideas. Now let's jump into my Pinterest board. Ta-da! So I have, let's see, 181 pins here. I've sectioned them off to make this relatively easy for anybody who's looking at it. But we have beauty, women's clothing, jewelry for mom, for him, which encompasses like dad, brother, boyfriend. I did make a designer board last minute as well, just because I thought that would be kind of fun. And then I have for the traveler, expensive gifts that are $150 and up, and then gifts that are $50 and under. Let's start with the gifts under 50, just because I think that they're kind of fun. Start, this is a cool galaxy light that I saw on Urban Outfitters. We have a portable projector I believe was $49 really good for somebody who's in college or who lives in an apartment where they don't have a TV I want to put one in here because I want to project on this wall we have a cute Polaroid picture frame. This would be great if you have somebody who already has a Polaroid camera or if you want to have a gift in conjunction with the Polaroid camera. I think it's just really sentimental. I have so many Polaroid pictures that I would love to put into a picture frame. Next, these two go together. I was thinking glass cups and glass straws. It's just an easy, like classy gift to give somebody. Here's one for my stoners out there. This is from Urban Outfitters, but there's a lot of other rolling trays on Etsy that are like pressed flowers inside or you can customize them. It's just kind of a cute, I don't know if classy is the word gift that is cheeky but also fun for anybody who's into that realm of things. Uncommon Goods is a really good website to look at for funnier cheeky gifts. They have just random stuff on there. One of the things that I see every year when I go on that website is this reel thing. I don't know if you remember when you were little but you would have these little like reels and you would click through it and it would show you different pictures of different things. You can actually make your own. I think this would be a good gift for your girlfriend or boyfriend if you want to put pictures of you two in the reel. It's just fun to like look at. It's a cute little memory to have and it's kind of sentimental. Next is a portable hair dryer. You can also get a portable straightener. This one is a Kristen S brand, which is a really nice brand, $50. This is great for your girlfriend or sister. This is a Bluetooth desk speaker, which I thought was cute. I believe this is also on Urban Outfitters. It's just something easy. Another gift you can get for somebody like in college or in high school. It hooks up as a speaker and you can put your phone on it as you see here, or you can use it like as a pencil holder or just a light to use. Next up is this jewelry holder that was also on Urban Outfitters. I think that that's a good, gift for somebody again where you can have it in conjunction with like a piece of jewelry next is the five minute journal any journal where it's like self-help or self-reflection is really good for for anybody i mean especially in this day and age where everybody has a lot going on it's nice to take a moment and reflect by yourself and get it for somebody to encourage them to start writing more next is something else from urban outfitters and you can get this also from etsy or any other brand but a tote bag tote bags are so in right now and everybody uses them so i think that that would be a perfect easy gift and you can get it customized wherever you're getting it from for gua sha. This also could have gone in beauty, but I thought it was a good idea to add under the like $50 and under category. Gua sha has taken on a new wave and I would advise not buying this from Amazon, buy from Etsy, from small businesses. Next we have fun candles. Everybody likes candles, especially the fun ones. I mean, look, they're knots. It's so cute. Here we have another candle, which I love this brand. They're on Etsy. I have them all around the apartment right now. They smell super good. French 75 is part of the cocktail collection from Rewind Candles, which I also very much approve of. Candles are just an easy gift to get somebody. Hair clips are perfect for anybody as well. Another thing under 50 is the Chirp Back Wheel. We have this at home and I really want to buy one here because these things are amazing. You can get the bigger set too, but that's more expensive. Silk pillowcases also are great. Buzzy slippers. 
enough said. An iPhone case. Continuing on, we have the more expensive gifts that are gonna be 100, 115 up range. To Stark, you cannot go wrong with an espresso machine. Milk frother as well would be great to go along with that. You also have the mini Theragun. This one is just more reasonably priced than the larger Theragun, but this would be great in conjunction with the class pass or gym membership. We have a Bose speaker. This specific Bose speaker is definitely on the pricier range, but the JBL speakers are also really good. Any Bluetooth speaker that is also like waterproof or has extended battery life. I want to say this one has a battery life between 12 to 15 hours. This is the biggest blanket ever or so it's advertised as, but I mean, it looks huge and it looks super comfortable and anybody would want a big fluffy blanket. I personally, love the hatch restore machine i have it here that's why i put it onto this list this is a sound machine and smart light machine so there's a million different things you can do with it use it as a lamp because there's a ton of different colors you can use it to fall asleep to white noise or ambient music you can use it to meditate because there's different stories and meditation things on there i mainly use it as an alarm clock because it mimics the sunrise and then it has like cute little bird chirping noises and it just helps me wake up next we have the g7 x which i'm ironically not using to film right now but that is a great vlog camera for anybody who's looking to get into YouTube or wants to get into the realm of like video making but doesn't really know where to start. I would advise this really only for vlogging because if you want to take photos, you should get probably a regular DSLR camera. Again, more pricier point is gonna be any Apple products. So we have Apple Watch, Apple Pencil, iPads, AirPod Pros as well. This is the Fuji Film Insect Square SQ1. You can just get a regular Polaroid as well, but Polaroid cameras are really in right now. Film is really in. You can also just get a film camera Camera. If you're gonna buy more of like an old school film camera, I would suggest hopping on eBay. We also have the Nintendo Switch, which of course I had my guy friend recommend, but the Nintendo Switch can go for guys or girls. We can accompany this with a couple of games as well. This I've had on my wish list for a while. It's the Aura Sleep Ring. This is for somebody who's obsessed with their health. This sleep ring, you wear it to bed. It essentially offers a 360 degree view of your health based on your personal baseline. So it measures your temperature, your heart rate, your blood pressure, and it helps balance your activity and sleeping for better recovery. So if you have somebody that you know is really into their health and well-being, because the technology in it is just far superior to that of the Apple Watch. Next, let's hop into the beauty category. Any body set, good, great, buy it. Nessera has a great little body set. Glossier as well has a really good body set. These are just easy gifts to get for somebody like for a white elephant or your friend that is not super expensive, but also something that they'll use. In terms of makeup, we have the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. I really recommend this Tom Ford eyeliner. Can't go wrong with anything skincare. This brand, the Snail Bee High Content Essence Benton really great quality skincare stuff anything from SkinCeuticals again more expensive but a great gift i definitely recommend the glow recipe line it's amazing it smells really good this brand is true botanicals it's a brand that i found doing some research into skincare their reviews are amazing and i really want to try some of their products can't go wrong with anything from the olaplex hairline if you kind of go down the theme of like hair and beauty you can get a couple of olaplex items and maybe like a claw clip and the satin pillowcase the freckle pen is really cute for those who are really into doing makeup a couple of other products include the Hourglass Foundation Stick, Rare Beauty's Beautiful Liquid Blush that I 10 out of 10 recommend, something like a brush set off of Amazon for those who like makeup and get a couple of different makeup pieces and make that a set in itself. One of my favorite small business skincare brands is Blueprint Botanicals. I use this exact face serum and I absolutely love it. Ned is another company that I really recommend. This is their hemp infused lip balm but they have other like hormone balancing blends and hemp blends that are like a oil based supplement that you can take. Sure, anything from Charlotte Tilbury also works. The Magic Serum is really popular right now. Their Hollywood Flawless Filter is also really popular and then their Contour Stick. Any other lipsticks, Pillow Talk's the most popular lipstick. But this is a great brand that all girls really love. We have a couple of other skincare items, the Josie Moran face oil, the Youth to the People face oil, Youth to the People Dream Mask. Dr. Jarts is amazing for anybody who struggles with red skin. I love Dr. Jarts personally. The Soul de Janeiro Venus Rising Kit is also really great. This lotion smells amazing. And then Glossier is another great brand for those who are not really into makeup but are being introduced into it. I actually got for my stepsister, she's 10, a little Glossier makeup kit last 
Christmas and it came with the mascara, the boy brow, and the cloud paint. And Glossier has a bunch of different sets that you can buy from so you don't even have to pick out like one item or another but you can pick one set or two sets and put it all together. Last on the beauty list is going to be this beautiful Elta MD sunscreen which is tinted and I wear it every day. It is literally so good. Next we're going to do women's clothing. Anything and everything from Skims goes. I 10 out of 10 recommend buying something from Skims. They have a whole range from underwear to loungewear to actual clothing. The Mayfair group has really cute sweater sets that are on the more expensive side but they're super cool and like hipster. You can also look at brands like Mom Come Pick Me Up, Serotonin Supply. That's another like cool graphic sweatshirt that I have that I wear all the time. You can't go wrong with the Chloe Betty rain boots. We have the Nike Dunk Lows and this beautiful sale color. I would say check stock X for shoes like this if you want to get something that's more unique and not just sold in any Nike store. This is the Nike Blazer Lows. There's also the Platform Converse. Here is the NASCAR jacket that's been trending for a while. This specific one I found on Etsy and there's a lot of different options on Etsy. This North Face puffer looks so comfortable. This other puffer that's from Aloe. On the note of Aloe, I have this specific set in gray and it's super comfortable and I love wearing it. Anything from Lululemon, I really recommend the Lululemon underwear. They are definitely more expensive, but they are such good quality. Can't go wrong with the Align leggings. Right now, flare pants are in as well, so the yoga flare pants from them would be perfect. If your girlfriend has ever talked about leather pants, She's referencing the Molina pants from Aritzia. Buy anything from Aritzia as well. Their loungewear suits and activewear sets are super nice. Aritzia is one of my favorite clothing brands, so you really can't go wrong with anything you buy there. There's a lot of jackets, there's a lot of sweaters, there's dresses. Next, let's go into the jewelry section. I was gonna put the Tiffany's pieces under the designer section, but I decided to put them just under the regular jewelry section because these few pieces specifically are not that expensive. I actually have these Tiffany hoops. Love them, I wear them all the time. I think a charm bracelet is also really cute and sentimental. You can't go wrong with a double heart tag pendant. They also have the pendant on a bracelet that is really cute and dainty. Then I have a couple of different brands here like Mott & Joe, Anna Luisa, and Missouri. You can sort through the websites based on price. Lots of different pieces from necklaces, bracelets, earrings, etc. Something else I thought was cute that I saw on Etsy was this little empowerment jewelry bowl. Check Etsy guys, Etsy has so many different things. I actually got my mom this Etsy necklace a couple of years ago and she still wears it to this day. The good thing with Etsy is that you can personalize a lot of things, like this necklace right here is personalized from Etsy. Next, let's jump to the for mom category. This one is really hard because I think mothers do so much for us. I know my mom does a lot for me and buying a gift for her is hard because Anything that she actually wants, she can buy herself. So I always recommend going the more sentimental pathway when it comes to getting gifts from mom. To start, I got her the champagne flutes last Christmas that has her and her fiance's last name engraved on it. You can also get her some books. This specific book is 101 essays that changed what you think. I think that any self-help books or like motivational books would be good for mom as well. Back to the flower subscription. A little PJ set exfoliation scrub with the bath board in there and then she comes out and she drinks her bottle of wine and then she uses this wine stopper and then she puts a snuggie on on top. The whole thing is super cute. And you can get other sentimental things like this You and Me Mom book. I actually got this from my mom and I have it here with me in Paris because I was supposed to fill it out. Anything that is sort of an activity that you guys can do together, again go back to like the Blue Apron kit or the flower subscription, those things would be really sentimental and meaningful for your mom. Another one that I recommend is a personalized charcuterie board. My mom actually got my grandma this last Christmas and it has our last name engraved on it and it is huge and beautiful and there's a lot of different options on Etsy for personalization. This is the base work tote and I'm gonna recommend a couple of other base products when we get into the traveling section. This bag is perfectly stylish, reasonably priced, and it has a ton of space inside that you can put anything in. Along the lines of relaxing, we have Sajay Wellness which is a great brand. Here we have the Dream Sleep Kit which has an eye mask and like a bedtime routine sort of vibe to it. They also have a lot of different essential oils. This peppermint essential oil blend is amazing. Anything from this brand is super high quality and smells amazing and works really well. And on the note of essential oils, get a diffuser. Okay, next up we have the for him section. This can go for dad, brother, boyfriend, uncle, cousin, coworker, whatever. Essential for your god is a cool like style that I really liked. That one's a little bit more expensive, but there's a couple of other different jacket options. This is nice, especially for the colder winters. Really can't go wrong with a the jacket. There's a couple of different shoe options you can go to as well. The Nike blazers are really popular, or you can get them something like an Ugg slipper. For my dad in the past, 
yes, I have gone to a personalized dog kit. You can find some of these on Etsy or you can find cheaper ones on Amazon. We have the Bosca Italian leather wallet. I also got another wallet from this brand for my dad a couple of years ago and the quality is amazing and it holds up super well. We have another wallet here that is a wallet that I saw on Amazon, the minimalistic wallet. Can't go wrong with Lululemon underwear or Stance underwear. Can't go wrong with cologne, especially because that will dictate how they're smelling. So you should pick something that you like. Another fun little kid present that you can get is something like the Jack Black shaving line. They have like beard oil and facial scrub and moisturizer paired with something like this little razor set. But there's a lot of high quality ones on Amazon that are not super expensive. Last is something that is more personalized on the men's list, but it does have to do with jewelry. I found these pieces from Missouri's men's line. I think that jewelry for men can be such a masculine but also sentimental gift. Next up, we have the For the Traveler section, which there's a million things you can get for somebody who likes to travel. Personally, I would love this luggage scale. I think that this is invaluable. We also have the cord organizer set. We have the Lululemon crossbody bag. This would be great for phone and passport and wallet in when you're going through security or through the airport. We have some pocket hand sani that is just aesthetically pleasing. And we have a portable charger. I do recommend also the Apple like charger cases. We have a passport holder. This specific one is from Kate Spade. Again, a ton of ones on Amazon and Etsy. Last, I wanted to mention Base, which is a brand by Shay Mitchell. I have the carry-on suitcase. I have the large suitcase. I have the backpack, which has a ton of space in it. My mom has the weekender bag and the carry-on suitcase as well. And then I have her Bay's work tote bag, which I mentioned previously in the mom list. Look at this, this can go in the back of your airplane seat pocket. And that is all I have for the Pinterest board so far. I'm definitely gonna keep adding to it. So check it out below. If you made it to this point, I would say congrats to you, tops off. You were obviously thinking about somebody and I'm sure you've thought about a lot of gifts throughout this entire video that you can get for that loved one. And honestly, no matter what you get, don't worry about it too much. And if you're making your own wish list too, I hope you get all of the stuff that you're asking for. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys, and thank you for watching. Okay, bye. Go do your Christmas shopping already. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.